Integrated Health Information Management System. I've just come from a demo. Uh, we are able to see a patient in Pekotoni, the pediatrician, Dr. Ngachua, demonstrated the power of technology to be able to deliver health services in hard, rich, and underserved areas. And that not only brings about service delivery, but also builds the capacity of our health workforce to be able to deliver better services in the future. That is entirely commendable. I am told this platform has served more than 9,500 patients. And this is a platform that we can be able to replicate countrywide and ensure its presence in all the 47 counties. Yes, as a government, of course, uh, we have ensured that uh, our approach towards universal health coverage is enshrined in law. And one of the acts that we passed uh, last year was the Digital Health Act. We are now in the process of developing regulations to operationalize e-health, m-health, and telemedicine so that it is well domiciled in line with our laws and also in terms of our uh, data protection and confidentiality, which is key because when you are dealing with m-health, e-health, and telemedicine, we are holding very, very crucial but private data, private and confidential data, then that we must be assured that will be in safe hands as we deliver these services. And the board was inaugurated yesterday, so one of the first tasks that the Board of Digital Health Agency has is to quickly come together and develop the regulations because that is the mandate of the board. We think that uh, based on our track record from how we develop regulations for social health authority, in about one, or one month or six weeks we should be able to have regulations ready to be submitted to parliament for approval. Amazing, amazing what I saw in uh, that we are able to consult with a child in Lamu from here and that is the way to go so that these people in under, underserved communities can equally be able to access quality healthcare services irrespective of where they are. I look at the role of technology in healthcare from two places, uh, improving access to health and then inclusion in health. So if you look at what we've done as Safaricom, MPESA and Safaricom Foundation, we've been able to partner with healthcare providers to do uh, inclusion, where we have given technology that helps children uh, in far areas who would not have access to pediatric healthcare, have access to quality pediatric healthcare.